normally this would be an outdoor garden. And if you've ever seen a tea ceremony, has anyone ever seen one before? Been to a tea room? Okay, great. Um, you'll come through a special tea uh, garden. Purify your hands. A lot of what you'll see today is purification. Um, and then there's usually a very small door. So this is our small door. The folks literally will crawl through it. Uh, and it symbolizes everyone being the same size. So when you're in the tea room, it doesn't matter if you're a shogun or whether you're a monk or whoever you are, everybody's the same inside the tea room. Kyaksamawa. And there, first thing we'll see is our, our guests come through. itself is matcha. So how many folks have tried matcha? It's pretty popular now. Um, and it does taste similar to what you probably taste uh, out there, but here it's uh, whisked with boiling water. also notice that inside the tea room, all of the Japanese arts are represented. So we have architecture, we have bamboo work, we have calligraphy, we have ceramics, uh, bronze work, and these are our first two guests. So this is the cauldron where we boil the tea. Normally there's a charcoal fire inside of it. Today we have electric, electricity, for safety sake, and the water bowl. writings of the tea master send Noriki inside of it. This is our hostess. And as the tea is very bitter, they serve the sweets first.
signify the beginning of the ceremony. Her first task is to uh, purify each utensil. And it's each, ta each movement is prescribed like a dance. I'll, I'll be quiet and let you catch the atmosphere. Ours are replicas of national treasures. In this other bowl, the uh, cold water bowl, which is also a special one for today with cherry blossoms on it, a whole cherry tree. And you know who the honored guest is because they sit the closest to the alcove, to the calligraphy and the flowers. She excuses 
herself for going before the other person. for a person to uh, them to spend a moment in time that will never be repeated. So. The second bowl also has uh, your flowers, <coughs> sakura, so cherry blossoms on it as well. It's quite famous. Bowl until they've requested her to stop, and you'll see that next. signify the end of the ceremony.
<coughs> whatever hot water she used from the water bowl. And the hardest part is that she'll attempt to stand. And it is difficult to sit on your knees that long if you fall asleep. The fun part is that you have to stand holding your utensils without drumming. being replicas of those. And this is a quite beautiful lacquer piece. If you look on the inside, there will be gold inlay cherry blossoms. So hopefully when we're finished and you've had your tea, you can come up and take a peek at some of the utensils.
There's a famous saying by, uh, by our team, the teacher, um, and it's Wake Seijaku, and those are the four principles of the tea ceremony. Wa being peace and harmony between man and nature. K being uh, the purification that we should go through before we interact with each other. Um, Se uh, is a purifying one's desires for freshness of heart. And Jaku is tranquility, so tranquility with man and nature and harmony. And that's the ideal of the tea room. The last bit that we'll see is <clears throat> the hostess will come back in and, and give them the names and history of the pieces they've just looked at. you have to remember the names of all the pieces. The last piece is the guests will <coughs> go back and look at each piece before they come back out of the And I hope you've got a little bit of a taste of how it is. And uh, first, I'd like to introduce um, our hostess, Ms. Kanase san, and our first guest, Hori Kakako san, and our second guest, Mitsuko san. And uh, I'm Laura.